Let's get into the Rudy Giuliani uh, podcast. A bunch of people wrote to me and said, David, Rudy interviewed someone who roomed with a communist. It's not even an interview with a communist. It was just somebody whose roommate was a communist and you really got to see it. Let's check it out. I haven't pre screened this. So let's uh, let's just start. Let's dive in. Rudy Giuliani and I'm back with another edition of Rudy's Common Sense. So today we have with us a very interesting guest yeah. who I think can open up our eyes to many things that are going on in this country. Maybe give us a little more of a sense of where it's all coming from. It's more to be perfectly frank, I'd be more interested in an interview with someone whose roommate had 10 cats than with someone whose roommate was a communist. Like living with the communist seems easier than living with the person with the 10 cats. That's just me. But I don't know if that's as interesting to Rudy. Morgan Zagers. Morgan is the founder and the creator of an organization that has a name that I just love. Yeah. Young Americans Against Socialism. Mm. I have to believe her her decision to 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 do this was prophetic. Yeah, this is exactly what if we didn't have it, we'd have to create right now. And Morgan is a young woman, but a very very accomplished young woman. She's already run a very credible race uh, for public office in a d democratic district against a democratic uh, opponent in a in a democratic year, <laughs> which all counts. You know that this only got twenty three thousand views somehow. She got forty four percent of the vote. That means um, that was once described to me by a great American senator as when you run a good race and you just lose, you have money in the bank. So I don't know how much money that, I don't know how much money Morgan has in the bank, but she got a lot of political money in the bank, and she is darn darn good. And right, go. how did it get started? Well, again, thank you for the opportunity to come and speak with you. Oh, my pleasure. My I, pleasure. I I can't thank you enough. Really. This almost seems like it didn't happen live. Did you? Th is something weird about these cuts where it seems almost like. The, these people's parts were recorded separately. It's really weird the way it's cut. Uh, to understand why I would start an organization with this name and this mission really requires a little backstory. I'm uh -oh. from upstate New York. I actually just moved to Texas, though. So um, I yesterday moved into my house and it's just been a whirlwind of a weekend. But I'm like many of the people who have led a blue state and have now arrived in Texas or Florida or Nashville. Uh, I think this is the actress who pay, played uh, Borat's daughter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but when I was in upstate New York, I grew up under the Cuomo administration and my dad was a colonel in the military. Now, uh, but call it the Cuomo regime. You might as well, right? Now he's in the Army Reserves as a colonel still. And my family didn't raise me to be political, but they at least raised me to have a very great respect for American values, mm. America's history, our founding, and of course, just history in general, learning from history in order to not repeat it. And, you know, that lesson comes up so many times these days as my generation fails to understand what we are really going through as a country. Uh, but I was from upstate New York. It's very what was the question? Why did you start this group? I'm going to skip. A, I, I can't do the preamble. Let's go to Rudy's next question. Promises from a communist. And I realized that so many young Americans like me, maybe we think that we know what we would say if we're put in this situation. Maybe we feel like we understand American values, American history, world history, politics, economics, all of that stuff. But then right there in that moment, even I didn't know what to say. And so I started Young Americans Against Socialism to make educational videos and content that <laughs> We're we're five minutes in. Remember, the question was, why did you start this? She's been speaking for four minutes and the answer could have just been this. I started it to make educational videos and content. We'll equip young Americans with the basic information that they need so that when they enter these conversations with leftists, because we know that it's going to keep happening more and more, sure. they have the intellectual ammunition to really fight back and win that conversation. So in essence, you educated yourself so you could educate others. And if you if you could acquire the knowledge for yourself, which you did, you then you, you then want to pass it on to others. Absolutely. There who would find this interesting, guys? Seriously, who on earth would find this even remotely interesting? There, the numbers are a little crazy and I'm actually quite optimistic about it. I don't know if you've seen them, but in 2019, Gallup said that 58 percent of young Americans would choose socialism over capitalism and in victims of communism poll that they did with YouGov showed that 70 percent of young Americans would vote for a socialist. When you could, could you tell us young what uh, 25, younger, 30, younger. Uh, 
millennials and Gen Z. So it was the two young generations uh, up until about 35 years old. Okay, that's a big that's a that's a big group. Okay. Definitely. And what's interesting too is they aren't the largest voting block. It's weird that the room tone from her audio cuts abruptly every time they cut to Rudy. It's just something technically is happening here that's weird. Yet that they will be by about 2028, Gen Z and millennials. Now, what was interesting about these numbers is you have 70% of young Americans saying they want to seize the means of production, right? I highly doubt they've ever heard that term before. They cannot tell you what that means. And in reality, socialism is that economic step for communism because it's the government. Apparently, this entire interview was almost knocked offline by a win- by, a, by an errant Windows update. I read that taking over the means of production, seizing the means of uh, production of private business and private industry. So when I see these numbers, I think my generation cannot possibly want that. If they fully understood, they wouldn't want it. And what man, what a what a just pointless interview. Let's see where Rudy sells something. Let's see. Young Americans can make that connection. Uh, We are suffering right now because a communist regime lied and suppressed the truth from the world. This would be a good time to take a short break. I accomplished a lot in 2020 exposing the truth. Establishing the relationship with you, working tirelessly. Is he selling coins now? For America. And I came to know the work and value of the people at American Hartford Gold. Oh my God. You see, you buy gold not only for what you know, but you buy gold for what you don't know. Right. American Hartford Gold is the company you can trust when it comes to buying gold. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside of your IRA in the pre- they'll deliver they'll insert the coins right into your IRA. All right. So there's that. Let's see if there's any other ads here. I mean, quite frankly. Oh, look, here's one, I think. Something. Oh, Rudy's uh, like some kind of computer thing. Let's see. By a bad man, but not a mad man. <laughs> this would be a good time to take a short break. Your credit card company found suspicious charges on your card. That's simple identity theft. It's annoying, but they cover it. This is comedy gold, yeah. Type of fraud you really need to worry about is home title theft. A devastating crime. Home title theft? What? Anybody who owns a home has title insurance, right? How how is this even a product anyone could need? That takes you off your home's title. And you're not covered by insurance or most identity theft programs. I don't even understand the crime. So you have title insurance. But there's someone steals the title. And it's not covered. That's why you need home title lock. Here's how easy it is for cyber criminals. Uh Oh, whoa, this guy's wearing a hoodie to get you. The title documents to our homes are kept online. The thief forges your signature on a quick claim deed stating you just sold your home and he's the new owner. Then he borrows money using your home's equity and (laughs) man. That's a freaking big scam. How I don't even know. I mean, that that seems like a difficult scam to pull off. I I, I know a little bit about this. I've been involved in a lot of real estate transactions. It seems there are far easier ways to scam people. Uh, (laughs) Does anybody know, like, is it could this really happen as easily as he's pointing it out? Like the amount of paperwork to forge a quick claim deed, don't you then have to file it with with the, the, the Hall of Records and then go? I, this this seems like an incredibly unlikely scam leaves you in debt. You won't know until late payment or eviction notices arrive. The instant home title lock detects someone tampering with your home's title. They help shut it down. Let's get you protected. Go to home title. Lock- oh, my God. Gingrich is on the website dot com and register your address to see if you're already- right. Doesn't it have to be? It has to be notarized by an attorney and then filed with the city. What a weird scam. What a weird, weird scam. All right, let's do what just one more ad because the um the actual interview is is you know, it's just go in the toilet flushed ten or fifteen times. Let's see if there's an, any other ads that Rudy does here. The interview continues. When would be another time to take a short break? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Here's another one. I have a wide assortment of other incredible products. <laughs> Okay, presented without comment. Presented without comment. It's like your mattress topper, sheets, towels, and slippers, and more. Listeners have helped build my pillow into the incredible company it is today. Yeah. 
and Mike Lindell wants to give. He seems genuinely angry that there are ads. <laughs> give back to all of you. Pick some pillows or pick several of the other great products and you can get super discounts on my pillow products by going to mypillow.com promo code Rudy. Right. Or call 1-800-725-7759 promo code Rudy right now. Should I call that number? Should we call uh should we call my pillow? That's that could be an interesting thing to do. We could speak to someone. All right, I think we're done with this. I think we're done with this, guys.